Hi, Virgo. Come on this way, babe. We have a little special guest. Say hi. Hi. She's our little Virgo moon. Popping in to say hi for the Virgo reading. Mm -hmm. Say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my mom. You have to Hi, say mom. Yeah, you have to say please subscribe to my mom's channel. Please subscribe to my mom's channel. Because when she says it's so much cuter, say because she's so amazing. Because <laughs> she's so amazing. All right, say hi, say bye. I gotta get my minutes. Bye bye. Got 10 minutes. Okay. All right, guys, let's see what's going on for you this week. Make sure you shut the door for me, okay? Mm -hmm. What's going on for my Virgos this week? All right. Man, the deck feels so heavy today. Like, literally, it feels like it weighs five pounds. I hope you guys had a wonderful new year. All right, Virgo, you guys are on pause about something, okay? Bottom of the deck. So you guys may be in a place of your life right now, Virgo, where you're feeling like everything is happening, like all of the seeds you've planted, all of the work that you've put in, it's all paying off. Like you are just being rewarded for all your hard work. <coughs> Everything is just like, you know, it's the new year. We just had Christmas. You could have got amazing Christmas gifts. You could have felt really fulfilled and loved. I mean, this person to me has everything that they want and they, they have so much that they have extra to share. Like, it's just beautiful. I feel like... Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, so you could be feeling this way about life right now. But I'm, I'm getting that there's this energy about you're about to walk into a new phase in your life, Virgo. And whatever that is for you, this kind of feels similar to the Leo reading. So you may be on the cusp of Leo, Virgo. But there's a new chapter in your life that's opening up that you're about to walk through that's going to bring you to a more deeper, connected, spiritual um, position in life. Where it's going to bring balance into your life. Um, or you're in that place right now where like you've worked really hard, you've done all the work, you put in the work to get where you're at, you're finally seeing, you know, you're seeing the results. Okay, and it's like, I'm getting this feeling like you knew it, you knew it, you know, like I knew, I knew this day would come, I knew I would get here, I knew this would all work out, I knew that it would finally pay off, it's like, I'm feeling like there's just like, this sigh of relief, like, okay, I knew this was coming, there's this sense of like, I knew this was coming, like you were preparing for it, this was something that you were very much preparing for, and it, like, it has arrived, okay, and Whatever this situation is for you, for for you Virgos, it is going to bring you into a very balanced um, place in life. I'm almost getting like, it's going to make you appreciate things that maybe you really didn't appreciate before. Somehow it's going to be bringing some sort of like appreciation into your life. You're going to, um, I just keep getting like new new door, new cycle, new chapter. <clears throat> there's something it's it's a weird energy because how we have you like you're seeing the results of of what you knew was coming um there's also this energy here of this card the waiting game like you're still waiting so there could be like you could be going into a new chapter of your life where in that chapter it's like the cycle starts again where whereas if you were previously waiting Oh, how can I explain this? Like, if you were waiting for all this stuff to happen, like new house, new new life, new wife, all that stuff, okay? And then you, you waited for a long time for all that to show up, and it showed up. But now you're in a process of the waiting game for another phase of your life because this new chapter has is beginning. So you're going to be 
waiting in that new cycle of life. Like I'm getting there's 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 some sort of overlapping of cycles. Like you moved out of one and right into another one. I'm getting like the symbol, like the infinity symbol, you know, like eight turned sideways. Um where you're about to go in again and plant a whole bunch more new seeds. Like this is like a leveling up energy to me. Like you leveled up, but there's some sort of scarcity energy here too. Still this scarcity feeling energy where like, yeah, you leveled up, but now you're at this other level, this higher level of now you're planting all those new seeds there and you have to wait for that harvest to come in for those so the seeds that you sowed to grow in. And now I'm getting something about like the spring or the summertime. So whatever this is you that you're currently working on right now, you're gonna be seeing the results of that in the spring or summertime. This could have to do with some sort of partnership or union or like living situation with someone. You could just be feeling like you have everything you want with this person. You're finally feeling balanced in your relationship in life in the way that things are going. I'm, I'm feeling this energy too, like you're really proud of yourself for like putting in the hard work because I feel like this journey for you guys was really hard. Like it was really hard to get here. Like you, it's like when someone's like, I, well, I walked barefoot to school in the snow. Like when I was young, I walked to school in the snow barefoot. You know, that kind of energy. Like you really put in the work. Like you've really, like people don't even realize how hard whatever this was for you to achieve. Like it's like, it's something you really, really wanted and you tried really, really hard for and like you're really, you're finally there. But there's this energy of like now you're in this new cycle and it feels like you're starting all over again. But there's that energy there of like I leveled up. Like so there's that exciting energy of like I leveled up, right? Like this is exciting and you know like oh my gosh, this is great. But then there's like okay, learning, it's like learning the new level up phase all over again so like now you're in the waiting phase of this leveling up energy I hope that makes sense for you because I don't really know how else to explain it like I can't think of any way to like give you an example of what I mean okay here's an example like if you were in a relationship and like you guys moved into like being engaged like the engagement phase or whatever but like the journey to getting engaged was like a long journey you know like if you were the girl you like put in a lot of work you know you really tried to make yourself like seem like wifey type material you thought it was never going to come you were in this relationship for years and years and years and years and then like over the holiday you got engaged okay so now you are leveling up you finally got the ring and you're like oh finally you know here we go i'm leveling up i got the ring and you, you know it's exciting but now you're in this new waiting game of like okay now i have to sow all these seeds of like picking out my bridesmaids getting a dress planning a wedding getting the invitations all setting up the table preparing for this preparing for that so it's like you're sowing all these new seeds in this leveled up energy so it's like the cycle is similar, but another level up. I hope that makes sense because I don't know how else to explain it. That's just how I'm getting it. But I'm getting that whatever this is that came into your life, even if it's not an engagement or anything like that, it, it has made you feel balanced. Like you finally, it's at this goal that you have achieved. And I think that that feels pretty good. And even though you're in this new similar cycle, leveled up cycle, whatever you want to call it, it's still exciting. It doesn't feel like you're putting in all the work. I think you do have the thoughts like, oh my God, this is going to be a lot like to plan a, a wedding or to do this or how are we going to afford all this? How are we going to pay for all this? Like how much time is it going to take? How long are we going to be engaged? Even though there's all that stuff happening, you're still feeling very much like excited about it. I think you go in and out of the energy because it's like that perfectionist energy of like, can I really even do this right now? Have a wedding and... Um, I don't know why I keep going to that to explain it, but it is that kind of like, you know, like, oh my God, was this the right thing to do? Like, can I even really do this? It's all exciting and all, but then you have that Virgo, that mind in there where it's just like, oh my God, can we really do this? Can we afford this? Can I have the wedding of my dreams? Am I going to have a big wedding? Am I going to have a small wedding? It's like, there's this kind of second guessing energy there a little bit. But I think overall, you're very excited about it and it is exciting, but I'm feeling like this next phase you're going into, Virgo, whatever this next cycle is for you, you it's not gonna, it's not something that's going to happen immediately. So if you did get engaged, and I think you already know this because there's this energy of like you knowing about all of this, you might even even know if you did get engaged, like you knew you were getting engaged, like you picked out your ring, like you knew you just didn't know when it was happening, but like you were in on it this whole time or 
So it's like you knew. And now, like, now that you're in that next phase, you know that, like, the wedding isn't happening tomorrow. It's not happening in six months. Like, there's going to be a long period of time that I'm feeling like this cycle is going to have for the actual wedding happens. Um, you know, because I'm, I'm getting to that the energy of balance being here in the middle, and I have to cut this short because I'm 10 minutes in, but this balance here, I feel like it did bring you balance, but there is this energy of flip-flopping back and forth too. Like it's exciting, but then there's this energy that feels like it's a little bit heavy or it's, there's, a, there's this second guessing energy. And I'm sure you guys will know what I mean when I say that. So I'm going to leave it there because I'm trying to do these 10 minute tarot tune up videos and I don't want to go too over. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.